Hi, this is Jeff Simon from Social Flight, and we're here at Aptus Aviation at Stowe's Minuteman Airport in Stowe, Massachusetts, and today we're here to talk about propeller balancing. We've got this 1979 Cessna 172, and uh, as you can see, we're set up, we're going to be using this DynaVibe GX3 vibration and analyzer uh, for this, and you know, when we talk about prop balancing, one of, we talk about a lot of dynamic forces on an aircraft as it flies, of course, lift, drag, etc. But at the front of it all, literally and figuratively, is the propeller. And the massive rotation and the forces at work, even on a fixed pitch propeller such as this one on this Cessna 172, are truly dramatic. And a small amount of imbalance in the propeller can lead to a significant amount of vibration. And that affects not just the engine, but it affects everything all the way through the aircraft. It can cause rivets to eventually come loose. It causes uh, damage in many, many ways and can really take a toll on the aircraft, your avionics, your gyros, and many other things. So we're here today to balance this prop. Uh, propellers are generally statically balanced when they come out of a propeller facility, uh, but once they get into use and after that, you also want to dynamically balance them. What that means is that while it's running, we are going to use this DynaVibe analyzer in order to see the forces that are happening at different orders of magnitude along the way and identify what propeller imbalance is doing to the vibration of the aircraft. And then we're going to make adjustments by putting counterweights uh, in order to make a correction. A quick tour of this, we have as part of the DynaVibe GX3 setup, we have an optical tachometer that reflects off of a piece of reflective tape on the propeller. We also then have an accelerometer which is mounted in the same location that actually measures the vibration directly there as close to the prop as possible and that uh, is going to give us our baseline and then using the DynaVibe we're going to be able to make adjustments, measure that against and try to get as close as possible to our goal which is going to be below 0 0.07 inches per second or ips of, of vibration that takes place in it. So let's get started here and then we'll uh, take a look at what the current position and the current situation of the aircraft is when it comes to balance and then we'll make our adjustments and check back in. Okay, so uh, getting started here on the DynaVibe GX3, we are going to begin by going into auto balance mode. And the first things that we do here are we set up the information about the aircraft. So we've already entered in the information about the aircraft owner, the tail number, and all the specifics about the aircraft, the engine, and the propeller. And that's the most important place to start as we get ready. And now we are going to get started and uh, do our first check. So here we have the results of our first uh, data run, which shows us here that uh, we're going to split between bolts on the flywheel. It uh, uh, is showing 0.56 ips at 242 degrees, um, and the DynaVibe GX3 gives us a solution for that. In this case, the solution is 27.1 grams to be added at 62 degrees. Using split bolts, and what that means is that we have two bolt locations right on the flywheel, we would put 25.4 grams at the 60 degree location and 1.9 grams at the 90 degree location. So we're going to make those adjustments, come back and take a look at where we stand. So this particular Cessna started out with a pretty significant propeller imbalance. It was 0.56 inches per second, which is a lot. But through three different runs that we did and putting some bolts on the flywheel across two different bolt locations, we were able to use the DynaVibe GX3 and get the balance all the way down to a very, very acceptable and excellent number of 0.06 inches per second, which is a great number. And one of the nice things about this is the entire process uh, use, uh, produces this report, which is available uh, that we produce directly to the owner of the aircraft. And that report sends them the uh, three different uh, uh, runs that we made, the progress that we made throughout the process, and the final result showing that they started at that 0.56 ips and wound up all the way back down at 0.06 ips. So again, uh, Jeff Simon for Social Flight. Thanks here to Aptus Aviation for hosting us, and of course to DynaVibe, a strong supporter of Social Flight and helping make videos like this and educational uh, programs that we have possible for all of you.
Thank you very much.